Ricky from FreeSkillSpeechEclass.com and I want to show you um, how to make a very simple, predictable, adapted book. Predict uh, predictable means um, the storyline is very similar on each page except that an animal may change or the action may change. So I want to show you the different parts of um, making the book. So first of all, I like finding a background and I love my Velcro board. So I've got, um, I either use a Velcro board or I put Velcro on a vinyl folder. And then what I do is like the folder becomes the holder for all my, I love to eat bug uh, pictures that go along with the story. I also have um, the pictures that go along with the story plus um, a short sentence on uh, what the story is about. And that goes in my folder too. I also have larger pictures. They're my little props and I often put these on jumbo craft sticks and then um, I can model while I tell the story and the pictures match my small pictures. So I've got a large picture of the frog and a small picture of the frog. And just to let you know, what's really fun to do is to add a sticky wiki to the picture too so that it, um, it's sensory, it sticks out and then you can add like a little fly to the, to the picture. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I tell the story. I love to eat bugs. I am an enormous elephant and I love to eat grass, leaves, and bark. Now you don't have to tell the story that way. You can tell the story any way you want really um, to include the words uh, that uh, you want to target uh, for your session. And then the frog says, well, I'm a wide mouth frog and I love to eat bugs. So I always accentuate that. And then the child has to find the picture. So we put the picture of the elephant here and then the picture of the frog here. And I find that the kids love to, you know, touch the pop-up elephant, it's so cute. Then I remove, I remove the frog and put it on the next page. I'm a hairy gorilla and I love to eat roots, fruits, and nuts. And then they find the picture of the gorilla and put it on. We also have an activity where the animal gets matched up with the foods that they like to eat. It's so cute, this is such a great pop-up book. I remove the frog, put it on the next page. And this is the ferocious lion. I'm a ferocious lion, Rawr! and I love to eat anything that runs on four legs. So I made it a little simpler and I said, I love to eat meat. And I put a picture of meat there. Okay, and then I take the frog off, put it on the next page. And um, a lot of times the, the child will take the picture of the frog off too and put it on the next page. It really depends on what level the child is at. Okay, I'm a laughing hyena. <laughs> And I love to eat all the leftovers from the lion's meal. And I just made a picture of meat to show them that that's what the hyena eats. And then I move the frog to this page. And this is where it gets interesting. I'm a hungry crocodile. And I love to eat wide mouth frogs. So I change the picture of the frog and I put this one and make it a small mouth and say, oh, is that so? Only if you can catch me. And then there's a picture of the frog hopping. Whoops, there's a picture of the frog hopping away. And then I would change this picture to the frog hopping. And that's the end of the story. So it's a nice short story. And I find that the children have like a good attention for um, this book. And this book is um, written by John Strezhen. Okay, I hope you like this uh, video.